Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. A biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this episode is about the European grandchildren of the biblical Noah, the children of Japheth. Most students of biblical history understand that the ancient inhabitants of Europe were the children of Japheth, while the children of Shem inhabited the Near East, and the children of Ham lived in the area of North Africa. While most people may know the geography of the children of Japheth, Many people do not know that scholars, historians, and anthropologists physically categorize the people, the children of Japheth, the earliest inhabitants of Europe, as Tasmanians, Astroloids, Melanesians. These images would typically serve as an indicator of what these people from ancient Europe, the children of Japheth, would have physically looked like or appeared. And one such author is David McRitchie in his book, Ancient and Modern Britain. I shall be inclined to look among the Papian races of New Guinea and New Holland for the nearest allies or relatives of men to whom the shell mounds of Europe once belong. Of these people, he speaks in the following terms. In the Andaman Islands, in the peninsula of Malacca, in the Philippines, of Australia, to New Caledonia, and finally in Tasmania men with dark skins and woolly hair. And on the left, we have a man from Tasmania who, according to historian David McRitchie, men to whom the shell mounds of Europe once belonged. And shell mounds are also called shell middens. Mounds of shells left by prehistoric people used to be considered mere trash. Now researchers recognize they can be monumental works of architecture that provide key insights into ancient cultures. Excavation of a Shell Midden Archaeological Site A first century historian wrote about the earliest inhabitants of Europe and Antiquities of the Jews by Flavius Josephus, how every nation was denominated from their first inhabitants. Now they were the grandchildren of Noah, in honor of whom names were imposed on the nations by those that first seized upon them, Japheth. The son of Noah had seven sons. They inhabited so that beginning at the mountain Taurus and Amanus, they proceeded along Asia as far as the river Tanis. Tanis is the Don River of Russia and along Europe to Cadaz, a city in Spain and setting themselves on the lands which they 
light upon, which none had inhabited before, they call the nations by their own names. The map on the left is a perfect instruction or illustration of that idea. Spain, Tadish, France, Gomer, Germany, Ashkenaz, Russia, Magog, Italy, Kitam, which is Cyprus and Italy, Greece, Javan. And on the right, we have a map of shell middens of Europe. And this map of shell mounds of Europe, or shell middens, and these mounds were found the earliest inhabitants of Europe, their bones, their tools, their food stuff and other material that the earliest inhabitants, the children at Jafet used while they occupied Europe. The skeletons of Tasmania type men are found in the shell middens or mounds of Europe. The first inhabitants of Europe were known as the children of Jephet. According to historian David McRitchie, in ancient and modern Bretons, the earliest inhabitants of Europe could be classified as Tasmanians. So let's take a look into what anthropologists considered the Tasmanian type. Professor M. Nesteruk, The Races of Mankind. The Tasmanians, who became extinct in the 19th century, also belonged to the Melanesian group of types. Some reactionary scholars placed the Australian Aborigines very low down in the scale of types, regarding them as something like Neanderthalers. Also, Professor M. Nesteruk categorizes the Tasmanians under a classification he calls the Negroid Great Race. This race is also called Negroid Astroloid, Afro-Asian, or Equatorial. The following are its typical features. Dark skin, hair and eyes. Hair of the head is in tight spirals or is wavy. The race takes its name from the dark pigmentation of the skin, hair and eyes. From the Latin. Niger equals or nigger equals black. The asteroid or oceanic race constitutes the eastern branch of the Negroid great race. Some of the asteroids, for example, those of the Solomon Islands, are so similar to the African Negroes that even anthropologists experience difficulty in distinguishing them. And this is a picture of a Tasmanian who's classified as asteroid or part of the Negroid great race, earliest inhabitants of Europe. So, so far we can see that the shell middens of Europe were inhabited by a Tasmanian type of man. But also, if we go to the Near East, to the land of Palestine, to Mount Carmel, we will find the same similar type of man. But not from Europe, from the Near East. Ancient man of Palestine, who is also of a Negroid astroloid type.
according to anthropologists.